This is a question that I've been getting a lot recently about TRT. When do you come off TRT? When is the best time to do your PCT, post cycle therapy? And the answer to that question is drum roll, never. You never ever. Why the fuck would you want to come off TRT? Why do you want to stop being healthy? Why would you want to stop waking up with hard ones? Why would you want to stop great libido? Why do you want to stop feeling amazing? Why do you want to stop never feeling depressed? Why would you want to stop all of these things? It's absolutely ridiculous. It's criminal to come off TRT. Let's think about what TRT is first. TRT is testosterone replacement therapy, which means you're fucked in the sense where your testosterone was not being produced, or if it was being produced, a very minimal amount of it was being produced. So therefore, you needed to inject or to take orally a substitute or a top-up, if, if you want to call it, something that made you feel like a man again, testosterone. Remember, this isn't steroids. We're not taking substances that our body doesn't produce. We're taking testosterone, which is a natural occurring hormone in our body. So all we're doing is chucking it right back to the amount that it needed to be. Maybe a little bit over, but not much over. That's why I mean when it would have been amazing at a young age, maybe 20 year old, to get my blood work done and to see exactly what my peak testosterone level was. Then all I would have had to do was when it was starting to dip is just take some test and match it right back to that level for the rest of my life. So I hate to break it to you guys or hopefully this is some good news. You never ever come off TRT and you never ever have to come off TRT as long as your health markers are all in check. And if you are doing TRT, with the correct dosing, the safe way of doing it, then there is no reason for those health markers to be in the shit. In fact, from my experience, and many people will tell you this, people that aren't on TRT have shit blood work compared to people who are on TRT. I've had clients come to me that have never started, they've never done TRT, their blood work is fucking terrible. Like I'm talking really, really bad. Borderline heart attack, high cholesterol, high um, hematocrit, red blood cell production's way up there, everything's clogged. Soon as they start TRT, they're going to the gym, they feel good again, they're having sex more often. All these things are fucking amazing in their life. Less depression, better job, more money, better car, bigger house, all this shit fucking comes with it. Trust me when I say this, all this shit comes with taking just a little bit of fucking TRT. So when all this stuff is coming with it, why would you ever want to stop? A couple of facts for you. In the past 20 or 30 years, I think, sorry, I said facts and then I got the date wrong. I think it's 30 years. The male testosterone level has dipped by 50%. What does that mean? That means when you now go to the GP to get your blood work done and you say to the GP, can I get my blood work done? And they're like, yeah, this, this, this. Your testosterone comes back. They're like, your testosterone is normal range. But that's normal range to everyone else out there. When you've got some fat fuck sat on his couch playing God of War, eating a Subway sandwich, and does fuck all to sit there, get fat, and play computer games, and collect his fucking check every single week, they are comparing you, a guy who's going to the gym every single day, the guy who's doing cardio every single morning, who's living an active, healthy lifestyle, who's eating a really good diet, they're comparing your testosterone to his, and they're saying yours is normal because his is normal. He is the new norm. That fat guy, have you ever seen South Park? You know, there's in South Park, I don't know if you remember it, there's this like computer geek, and he's sat there, he's big belly, he's eating his Cheetos, all fucking hair messed up, big fucking zits on his face, and he's like the, the troll. So that is who they're comparing your testosterone to. I am not that fucking guy, dude. I'm not that fucking guy. So I need my testosterone back. Just what my body produced, I'm taking my testosterone back. That's it. Nothing more, definitely nothing less. So to answer the question for many people out there, it's very, very safe to do testosterone for the rest of your life. I've met guys that have been on testosterone for 30, 40 years. I was living out in Thailand and I met a lot of older guys. It's just a place where people go to retire. Partly the reason is because the visa is free. Wait, what? It's not free. It's like a, um, if, if you're over 50, basically, 
you don't need to get a visa. You can just go to the country and you get like, you can get what's called a retirement visa. Sorry, you get a retirement visa in Thailand, free of charge, and you can just live out your days, chilling, shagging girls on the beach day and night. And I speak to guys out there and they are in phenomenal shape. I met a guy who was 78 or almost 80 years old, phenomenal shape. And I said, what you've been taking? He told me exactly what he was doing. He was on test and he'd been on it for 30 years. He said he used to compete back in the day. He's very similar to me, only he's a lot older than me, more than double my age. And I just said to him, bro, I would love to just get to your age, let alone look like that. And I asked him and he said, I've got three girlfriends. I'm having sex with them on a daily basis. It's not that it's not what the thing to brag about, but I'm just explaining to you that a guy his age is having sex three times a day. And many of you guys are sat there behind a computer screen or behind your phone screen in sexless, sexless marriages. You need to have that at least, bro. You need to wake up with a stonking heart on every single morning. If you're not, get yourself on some TRT the correct way. And another thing I will mention, if you don't want to do the injectables 12 months of the year, there is a way to bridge it. I teach this in my TRT protocol. The link is in the description. It's a very, very cheap course. I've set it at a very low price, 50 quid. I don't know what the fuck it is in dollars, but it's fucking very cheap. Buy it. All the information is in there extensively. I teach you absolutely everything, how to jab, how to draw, how to take it, how to put it in insulin needles so you don't have to use those massive fucking green and blue needles to inject, you know, however often you're going to do it. Everything is explained in that course. But going back to the main question of this video, yes, you need to be on TRT for the rest of your life. There is no coming off. And why the fuck would you want to come off when you feel absolutely amazing? Why on earth would you want to come off TRT? It is a safe thing to do. And hopefully if this video gave you any value, please subscribe and comment down below your TRT stacks. I'd like to hear what you guys class as TRT. Let me see what you guys are taking and please subscribe and like this video.